So, uh, Bob Donovan, he's the conservative of the race. Even though it's a nonpartisan race, um, he's the conservative. He could get through the primary. He can't win a general election. I mean, we saw it already. Running as Tom Barrett um, did not do very well. So you have Marina Dmitrievich running a good campaign. People tell me uh, got kind of progressive East Side support, uh, working families, those kinds of folks. Can she put together enough people to come out on uh, Tuesday and get her through? Ernell Lucas, um, he actually raised the most money in the pre-primary period. He used to do security stuff for Bud Selig and Major League Baseball kind of cashed in on some of that support. So that was interesting. But is he missing his opportunity to be the law and order Democrat in this field and run that lane? Because he's not really stressing his law enforcement credentials, the stuff that I've seen. Then you have Lena Taylor. Uh, Lena has a dedicated band of supporters running for state senate, but she's run for mayor before, not done well. She's run for county executive before. I don't know if she can put a coalition together in April to win, but she might really get to the primary on Tuesday. And quite frankly, of those four plus Chevy, Cavalier, Cavalier has the easiest time to put together a winning coalition in April. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by the Wisconsin Realtors Association. Bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate. 